I was delighted to uh, to be awarded this year's uh, Gather Memorial Award, which is held every two years. And as part of that award, I have to deliver a prize lecture. The topic I chose to speak on was really concerned with our laboratory's research over the last 10, 15, in fact, even longer, 20, 25 years. And that is to look at the, how the brain functions with particular emphasis on neurotransmitter receptors and how drugs work on these receptors, how they're manipulating the function of these receptors and how these proteins can also be involved in diseases. So I, I took snapshots of four areas of our research and uh, uh, presented that to the audience with a, a fairly light touch, really. Well, the first area I covered was really to look at uh, neuroallosteric regulation of the receptors and, and by naturally occurring substances in the brain. And the ones I chose for this were the neurosteroids, which are highly potent regulators of GABA receptors. It's GABA receptors that we work on most of the time because these are the receptors that inhibit brain function and we were quite interested in that level of control. So the story I outlined was how we discovered the binding site for the neurosteroids how we then went on to, the, to use that discovery of the binding site to make a transgenic animal model, and then uh, look at how endogenous neurosteroids can act as natural anxiolytics in the brain. So that gives us some interesting therapeutic opportunities for the future, and others, of course, as well. In terms of pharmacology, of course, we're interested in drugs, but we're also interested in drug targets. And so uh, quite a lot of our work is engaged in looking at where drug receptors move to, how they're modified. Can you insert more receptors in the cell membrane, particularly at synapses, for example? Um, we call this synaptic plasticity, and uh, we, we look at the underlying mechanisms for that. So that was my second part of my story, just to take a particular synapse. I chose one in the cerebellum, as it happens, and it uh, nicely uh, exemplifies all of the, the features that I wanted to show. In this case, we looked at a mechanism whereby receptors are put into the surface membrane over a long period of time. So that's another area of control and inhibition. The third area, I changed tack here, and uh, also receptors. We, we looked at glycine receptors, another inhibitory receptor. You find this in the spinal cord and the brainstem. And here I chose a disease angle whereby you can get mutations to the receptor protein and one protein will contain, let's say, about 2,500 uh, individual amino acids, roughly. And we looked at what happens if you mutate key residues in that protein structure. And then finally, um, in our latest work, I laid out a theory of uh, a very fundamental aspect of, uh, that we know in pharmacology, and that's uh, the process of how receptors desensitize. So if you put a drug on for long enough, the protein ceases to be functional. And we wanted to know more about what actually occurs to that protein when that happens. And so uh, I took the audience through a very uh, structure function approach, how, whereby we uh, identify certain areas of the receptor which are really key to, to causing that particular uh, phenomenon.